Hey, what is going on YouTube? We are back today with another video in our algorithm series. Right now we're on bubble sort and we have explained what bubble sort is and we have covered it in C++. So now we're going to jump right over into Java. Uh, if you watched the last Java video, pretty much a lot of this is going to be the same. Uh, just the algorithm itself, just a small function is going to be slightly different if you've seen the unordered linear search video. So let's jump right in it without wasting any more time. Uh, Java does take a little more to get up and going because it has a, a lot of objects that you got to call and try click catch box and everything else. So you shall see this in a few seconds as we write out our first function here, which we uh, need because we are using a file of 10 random numbers that we're going to sort. So we're going to say read file and then we're going to take uh, an array and then this is going to throw an exception because we will get an exception back for this buffer reader, which it automatically imports so we need a reader and then we need a new buffer reader and then it's going to say a new <laughs> file reader this is where I said uh, it gets pretty long so I have the file path already ready to go so let me just go ahead and copy that really quickly may oh you know what probably help if I move that outside of uh, main we don't want to use that inside of main. That fixed our issue. So, so we have our buffer reader, and we need a string for the line, and then we need uh, an integer. Uh, we'll say i start to zero because we're going to increment i, and then we'll say while line equals reader dot read line, and then this doesn't equal null. Say nums i is equal to integer dot parse because my file is holding integers, but when it reads it in string, it's a string, so we got to convert it to an integer to make that go away. We need read line, not read, and then we just increment i because i is our index for nums because it is an array. Let's go down in main here. Let's go try and then it, we need to catch the exception. So we'll say E and then we'll say system.out.print line and then we can just print out E dot get message. And then outside of this try block we have in nums. Uh, I'm going to kind of cheat here. We're going to say equals new int of size 10 because that is how many numbers I have. So we're going to say read file and then we're just going to go ahead and pass nums right in there. And just complains about a typo. So we can go ahead, once we read it in, we can say print nums, which uh, print's going to be a helper function, which I'm going to write right now. So public static void print, which is going to take the array, and then we just say for int i equals zero, i is less than nums dot length. Oops, don't want to search. I plus plus, and then we just say system dot out dot print line, uh, we'll say i with a space, so to concatenate we need a plus, and right outside of this we'll just say, uh, outside of the for loop we'll say system dot out dot print line with nothing in it, so it prints a new line, I'm sure we can actually strap a new line actually right there, so we, no, we don't want to do that. So we want it all in the same line, and then once it's written a line, we add the new line. So there we go, we have that. Let's go ahead and try to run it really quickly, see if we, what we get. Ah, uh, print. So we got all our numbers. Uh, just 
prints. The index I, which we don't want that either. So nums I. All right. Let's try that again. So there's our numbers, not the indexes. All right. So this is what we're going to say bubble sort. Just going to take the nums array. And then we'll just go ahead and print out nums again, because at that point it should be sorted. So go right up to here. We're going to say public static void again. And then we're going to say bubble sort it nums the array. Then this is where we're going to write our bubble sort algorithm. So we need a temp variable. And then we need a double for loop. So int i equals zero i is less than nums.length, i plus plus. And then we need an inside loop, so j equals zero. Nope, j is equal to i plus one. j is less than nums.length, j plus plus. Go ahead and inside of this, we need an if block. If i, nums i is greater than nums j, go ahead and swap out the variables. So nums temp is equal to nums i, and then we set nums i equal to nums j, and then we turn around and set nums j equal to temp. That should, that's all that should be to it. So we go ahead and uh, run from main here. 4582, and then we got it right there in order. So that's all the two bubble sort inside of Java. Um, I think for our next, next videos that regards anything after this set of videos, we're going to skip over this read file function. It's already going to be in there when we start the video. So we can go ahead and focus more on the algorithms because they are going to get much longer as the time goes on. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you want to check those out. Uh, we will be hitting those. I don't know when, but soon. But yep, that's all this two bubble sort inside of Java. Double for loop, the if block, swap out the variables and go ahead and print it out again. So hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for tuning in. See ya.